know I was planning to LP this game eventually, but I would have preferred having a wife so that one of us could read my notes, the other could play through the game. And I wouldn't be worrying about the wife because she'd probably have to be enthusiastic to begin with to be such. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't even have a stable life situation. Or one that's the stable design line because people want to be so uncooperative. They even think they, it's good to have laughs at my expense. Yes, my house being threatened by a fire is real funny! <sighs> Well, anyway, this game has mixed opinions. It does at least have gameplay variety. Oh, oh yeah, you're watching the extended cutscene. You only get it after beating the game or going through me not so bad anyway. Anyway, the game does at least have enough gameplay variety with good ideas. Nice to see, but... Oh, God, the execution of various things makes me want to cringe. In fact, this... One of the sad problems is indirectly why I'm helping this game. As I brought up, brought up that problem with Mario Mastar. And he became interested in how the game played out. Oh, here I am. Here's the whole thing. Like, I'm in the area that leads that. So, uh, yeah, two armies fighting each other. Jar! Watch it! Oh, 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 dang it, and it guys, dead run to the hot, ah, it's a battle, whoa, Yeah, that's right. I forgot that. Yeah, to get that. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that. Another reason why I'm And that girl, she's the main character, I think, believe it or not. And that guy with the green hair, I think, is her and boyfriend and whatnot. Hmm? And this guy with blue hair was really not familiar. Mm. He's watching me or something. Oh! Welcome to... Fire Emblem! Let's play Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn! I use I get some six and save files to work with. Oh yeah, the tile screen changes. But I think you're stuck with one when you first play. If you let keep the game on the tile screen long enough, you know, you'll see how roll out of classes of different character unit types. I'm going to use a clear data file because there are stuff, there are things that you can only get on a subsequent playthrough rather than a first playthrough. I'll note them as we go along. When you start a new file, you can select between easy, normal, and hard. You can only select the hard if you've already beaten the game before. <laughs> and don't mind the 100 hour files. Hard one, silver haired main. Prologue, 
100 face guys. Yes, sir. No. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. Stop fighting. But I don't even want to miss out on that. Hmm. Oh, it's the girl from the FMB. We're wasting our time. She's trying no to one here. I know I heard something. Hush, Henry. Please don't cry. If they hear you, they'll give us away. <gasps> Who's there? She is hiding. Is it the Dawn Brigade? No, it was just a bird. Thank God. Now it's time to get out of it. Ah! Oh God, no! No! She's 
not kidding when she says that. Listen up, you lads. This town is nothing but idiot get the drilling grave here. Drilling it and you can. You didn't wipe off? Huh? What? So, welcome to Fire Realm World. It's a turn-based strategy game similar to Advanced Wars, but it takes place in medieval time where there are not tanks, bombers, battleships, etc. But sword users, mages, archers, you get the idea. You can use one of three control schemes in this game to, to control the, the GameCube controller, the Wiimote, and the classic controller. You can't use the Wii Chuck. Sorry, Wii Chuck's you, Wii Chuck fan. Now for the list of commands, just bring up with the map menu. Unit readings of a list of units. Go here to compare your units. And see if they can talk to anybody on the conversation page. Uh, conversation page. Uh. Options, you can adjust the game up. Adjust aesthetic stuff. <laughs> there are a few things to know in a first playthrough. You can set attack automations to off. You can only set them to all on or map only. You can only do you can only set them to off on a second playthrough. Mm, nice. Unit circle I'm not sure, but if it's available, please, for the love of God, turn it on! Of course I can be sure it's it's even available on a first playthrough to begin with. And bonus experience display. It's definitely not available. When you have it on, you see bonus experience gained at the end of the chapter. At the end of a map. Or at the end of the chapter. Now, here's Suspend, which suspends the game. It, 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 it saves your current game state temporarily and quits the game for when you want to return later. On lower difficulties, it's replaced with Battle Save, which does the same thing. Except when you reload the state, it, it, it's not deleted, so it's basically safe stating. And in turn, ends the player phase immediately. On lower difficulties, there's also a guide option, which acts as a tutorial. With the teacher being a witty cute female named Anna. Speaking of horrible differences, <laughs> app affinity bonus is removed, weapon triangle is removed, and you can't view the enemy range, which sucks. Also, enemies are at a higher level, like, and you gain less experience from combat. Mm. Now, here's the conditions. Let's view the commander in victory terms. You need to route the enemy and avoid any casualties. <laughs> Not that we want somebody to die, mind. Send anybody who dies, stays dead. Or at least unable to fight. In general. Here's the status screen. You got the class name, level, AP, determine one of them today. Strength to bolster your physical ability, magic to bolster your magic ability, skill to bolster your accuracy, speed to let you gather fight speed, luck to do lucky things, ironically it doesn't boost critical, physical defense to guard against physical attacks, and magic defense to guard against magic attacks. Then the items, which do various things, weapons count as items, and they can be used a limited number of times. A high number of times, usually, but still a limited number. So, and you can't exactly go to the repair shop or something like you can Skyworks or where Gondo is. <laughs> yeah. And using weapons and all, in general, 
exploit the girl Billy. That you do have combat stats. Attack is how much damage you deal. Hit is how well you can hit. Evade is how well you can evade. Fight speed, called attack speed, or AS for short, is how easily you can double. Crit is how easily you can crit. How much of a chance you can crit against zero crit evading enemy. Critical evade, called dodge for some reason, is how well you can no critical hit chance. Aims is how far you can attack an enemy from when you move your movement mechanism. In effect, it is how is what your weapon is effective against, if anything. The triple mine result is triple weapon mine result. Here's the weapon stats. You can guess what's what. Mike is abbreviated as E. Weight is abbreviated WP. If your weight is is greater than your thing, the difference comes out of your fight speed. We have con, you can use it to shove. Wait, you can use that to rescue. Neither is increased by leveling up. Movement also not increased by leveling up. How far the movement can you move? Duck is not duck. Affinity is. Any wounds and supports, I'll talk about that later. Uh, raise is your raise and type of any. Mm. Traveling is related to rescuing. Mm. Condition is your status change. Uh, weapon level is how easily you can wield weapon types. Mm. The weapon ring determines what weapons will be available for that type. Mm. You can't ever use them. Can you have a unit use in type where they have a dash at all? Skills provide various effects. They do various things. The board will talk about that later. Authority provides any made if the unit is the commander. Environism affects any made up to ten points. Now, I hope that's not coming to difficult to, to understand. I know that... Now, what was I winning? Oh, oh yeah, to attack moves into pop position correctly. And here's the attack. Review battle stats, see if you like them. And if you do, go ahead and attack. If you like them, you know, go ahead and attack. <laughs> if any girl like you, better pretty penny for me. Let me get girl and get the that. What did you say? That better not have been an insult to you. Glacier, glass cannon, squishy, wither, hybrid, 
You have great magic power, great magic defense, and great luck. But your HP sucks. Your physical defense sucks. And your speed is... Well, it starts decent. But the growth is mediocre at best. Only 35%. Um, Mickey Sue is the only, only light mage in the game, and she's naturally important. <laughs> she does have low movement power, though. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, well, high movement power is low, you'll see. Like Holmes. They actually have about the lowest might of any weapon type. That's contested, granted, but not easily at all. But they are magic all the same. I can't imagine somebody could effectively argue <coughs> about argumentic being useless without inherent set related problems. Now she has two skills, sacrifice and shove. Shove is actually common. It's not on every unit, but it's on most of them. Oh not those units that don't have shove. It's in shove is a class skill, by the way. <laughs> Sacrifice as the name an interesting skill. As the name implies, it transfers Nikaya's HP to an adjacent unit. <laughs> Having to expand HP to use Sacrifice is actually a weakness. <laughs> it also in the ailments. <laughs> it's called Healing Hands in Japan, which makes plot points about Sacrifice make a little more sense. A little, not that much, but it's something. Now for the other character. Hello, Edward, for God's cannon, you're terrible. But God, your physical and magic defense stats are bound to be lacking. Then again, that's not bound to be a particular problem. Edward has to still rash. <laughs> Which, if the character is below 30 AP, in this case, it works in a 5 AP or below the pocket, and his critical hit rate goes up by 50 in battle. It's actually buffed from the Japanese version, with Rat not only requiring below 20% HP, but with stat triggered. <laughs> so it's virtually used with the stat was really, really high. At least here, Rat had a chance of working, because when it's, when the character's below 38 HP, 30% HP, they get, they always pocket in battle, no matter what. Critical plus 5 is actually a self-explanatory Myrmidon skill. Here, speaking of the Myrmidon, which I'm going to call Ben, sir, they're first sold are fragile speedsters, using swords, which has the second lowest might value for the physical weapon type, but make up for it with high accuracy and only moderate weight. Naturally, don't be surprised to <laughs> see them drop like decent frequency. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to talk about the X guys. These guys are bandits, an enemy only class that are basically might placers. They use axes, which themselves are might placer weapons. And they have only five movement power. But their stats are actually good. And although their HP defense ratio is actually high. Later chapter bandits will also be the class with ridiculous growth. So watch out for that, please. Bear with me. This guy can go away. No, not you. Ah, ah. Like you there. He's sinister. Anyway. Uh, I'm sorry about the long-winded explanation. 
Yeah, I wouldn't even be needing to do that on a lower difficulty. Ah! Hello! Nikaya! I love Bertoldi. More than that. That Yenny! What were you two thinking? Thinking on these dinners alone at the Undercliff? I'm sorry, man. No, no, we just couldn't leave the house. To these monsters. Please help us find Hello, Leonardo. You're actually decent in a chapter where you do matter. Contrary to popular opinion. But you sure do so why skill and luck. Only ever needs to be decent. Magic defense growth is at least good though. But speed growth is a very impressive. Fun fact, Edward and Leonardo actually have lower levels with accordingly more stats in the Japanese version. Yeah, the Japanese version starts harder. Leonardo's speed isn't lower though. Really not. Now for skill. Cancel. This stops the enemy from counterattacking when they're hit. Which is redundant on an archer because they're attacking from a rage where you they don't want an enemy hitting them. Of course, it's that triggered anyway. <laughs> Speaking of archers, they attack from a distance, as you'd expect, where they won't get countered by melee weapons. But they have no counter attacks against melee weapons themselves, so watch out for that. But don't be afraid of Leonardo's fun to hit if necessary. This game makes enemy archers flash cannon, by the way. Don't be afraid to use herbs and, and to keep your people healthy at this point. Anyway, later on you'll see glass cannon archers. So. Oh, like what I mean is, the game makes enemy archers more or less less than, which is above average speed of AP ratio, which makes sense, actually. <laughs> anyway, be wary of enemy archers in this game. Drop a, they drop an item. If they do, it's it's highlighted in red. And at you, you eat the vision. Eat it, damn it! Ow, Leona, Edward. Oh God, no! Thank you for dodging. I wouldn't do good for nine away. Sponges pool. And that's you! <laughs> and you 
plus seven damage, pal. You're gonna have to do better than that. Let's see if I beat this daddy up. Nine. Alright, enough damage. Let me make sure I have enough accuracy to... Good! You're 12, you're 12. Ah, 
God! What the link gang? Thank you, King, you and your luck! This would have worked if Edward Kane's dead. He... What would I think, King? That would have been sufficient, anyway. Level up. Hate these things. Kill. Speak. Luck. Yeah, that's our game at random, though. Be wary of that.